Hey, today we're going to make some grilled sandwiches. This is a little bit unusual, maybe. I'm going to make some bacon, some cabbage on the Blackstone griddle. And we're going to eat this sandwich on some nice fluffy croissants. We're going to make a little topping for that also using cucumber, some seasonings, and some sour cream. So I'm heating up the Blackstone and getting it ready to go. I'm going to get the bacon on there and start that frying up and I'm going to take this cabbage and I'm going to slice it up so we have some nice big shreds that we're going to use in the sandwiches. So first of all, we'll get the bacon on. Yeah, I'll sample it for you. Right, it's heating up, it's heating up. Alright, let's put the bacon down here. Cook the whole pack, even if we don't use it all right now. I'll eat some. Okay, I can count on that. This will take care of the extra. All right, we'll let that cook for a little bit. Maybe that. <laughs> now the, the sauce is very simple. We're going to take a nice cucumber out of the garden. This happens to be a pickling cucumber that my son gave me out of his friend's garden. I'm just going to take what you would normally zest a lemon with or something like that. I'm just going to get some little shreds of cucumber. I don't want any big overwhelming pieces. We want this kind that looks something like this. It's very shredded up. It just really gets you the flavor and a little bit of crunch. All right, that should be enough right there for topping two sandwiches. Then we're going to take some sour cream. I have a fresh sour cream here. And I want to just make enough to put on two sandwiches. I'm going to use some paprika. I'm going to use a little basil. You can use fresh or dried basil. Just so you get the flavor in there. Got to do something to brighten up the cabbage. I'm using some minced onion. The reason I'm using the minced, it's easier to mix in to a small amount of cream like this. But it's powerful. All right, we're just going to mix this together nicely so that we can spread it on top of the bacon and cabbage. All right, the other thing we want to do to get ready to go, we just want to slice, slice these croissants because we might want to warm them up on the grill a little bit. They're nice sized croissants. Okay. While we're here on the cutting board, I'm just going to take a couple slices off of the cabbage. I'm going to cut like quarter inch slices. We're going to allow them to get shredded up, but as you know, they'll get smaller as they cook. So I think Something like that is what we're going to have in these sandwiches today. Okay, let's go back to the griddle and check on the bacon. Okay, we're going to flip the bacon here just to get uh, the bacon a little bit closer together. And then I'm going to start to cook in the cabbage. I want to get the fat from the bacon started here so I could use some of that to cook the cabbage. Doesn't it look nice? This griddle does a great job. Okay, now we're going to move the cabbage over. 
I just want it to be spread out a little bit. You could chop it up finer if you want, but I like to take a nice bite of cabbage when I'm eating it, so I'll leave it in a little bit bigger pieces. This combination, you'll find it's really nice together. All right. If you can see the base, the uh, you can see the cabbage is starting to brown there. Beautiful. Flip the bacon one more time here. You want to keep that nice and hot and nice and brown. Almost smell more cabbage than bacon, right, Rick? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> He's got his nose tuned on the bacon. Yeah. That smells like cucumber when you grind it up. Uh, yeah, that was a nice smell too. All right, the bacon's getting smaller. I'm going to turn this side of the griddle down to keep it cooking. And then I'm going to use that side, which is nice and hot, to get that cabbage done real quick. I want to cook this long enough to make sure it's tender. A little crunch is okay, but nice and tender makes a nicer sandwich. Mm. Alright, now the bacon's perfectly done. I'm going to rest it on a paper towel. Get it dried up a little bit. Get a piece ready for mm. Rick to eat. Yeah, it's a crunchy one there. I know, I saw you. I like, them dark like and crunchy. that dark one. Wow, I can see Rick's going to be happy here. Look at mm -hmm. that bacon. Alright, spread this out and get it done. Almost ready. You want your roll toasted a little bit? Yeah. Okay, let me get that on. Now we're all prepared with the cut side. We're just going to lay it on here and let it brown up a little bit. While we finish up. Now I think this cabbage is nice just like this. So I'm going to shut this off and you know the griddle will keep it hot for us. Alright, I'm going to shut everything down. Now let's take a look. I think that croissant is just nice to load up like this. So we'll start right on here. Putting some cabbage on the bottom. it right here. Wow. This is really nice bacon too. Wrap it with a little more ground up cabbage. back to the table and add some sauce. Mm, look at that. It reminds me of tzatziki sauce. Mm. 
or we could also use yogurt instead of sour cream to make it more like that. All right, we're going to put that right on. I have to sit down for this. <laughs> yeah. And push that back in. Oh my gosh. Let's take a bite. Let's, come on and join me. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stand the smell of bacon any longer? Yeah. Okay, let's see how this goes together, right? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Good. Isn't that a nice combination? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mmm. Got bacon for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can make something else with that too. But crunchy and soft. Mm hmm. With the bun. You taste the cucumber a little? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. You? Yeah. Wow, I think this is nice. You can eat this for breakfast or lunch, right? Uh huh. And you could do it inside too, you don't have to do it on the griddle. I hope you get a chance to try this recipe or some version of it, right? It's a really good combination. You'll like it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, see you again. <laughs>